Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, where in the last episode we actually successfully managed to get through a level 5 mission without losing anybody, which is starting to be a bit of a pain in the ass because we've got all these super high level people, which is great. All, all the people so far have successfully, they've obviously survived, um, but, well, two things uh, have come to mind right now. Apart from the fact that Jekri has gone completely insane and is going to be drinking their woes away probably for some time, uh, Holmesy has not come back. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, well, Holmesy has not left, I should say. The transept or whether we put her? Yeah. Uh, so we can't do what we were going to do, which was to do the Prophet mission with Holmesy, Erasmus, Rikuda and Megistos, or maybe Pe well, Holmesy basically. We need Holmesy for that mission, which means we can't use any of these other people lest we accidentally level them up. The other thing that I was thinking is that in order to try and sort of progress the series, because I feel like I'm holding it back simply by maintaining this don't dismiss anybody until they die attitude, whereas in fact it's quite a common and sort of legitimate strategy to pull people on board, send them out on a mission and get rid of them without spending any money on them. Now, as it stands, we've spent some money on everybody, and everybody is of course named, um, but as people start to die, I think I'm going to start to introduce that... Originally I called it scumming it up, and I do still feel like it's a little bit taking advantage of the mechanisms of the game, um, but, you know, we have a limited roster, and you can dismiss people, so at the same time, you're supposed to take advantage of the mechanisms of the game, right? Or they would nerf the mechanism, and they've had plenty of time to do that. So it is a legitimate strategy to hire people and dismiss them in order to gain some money. But with the amount of holding back we're having to do simply because we can't afford to, you know, put stressed out high level people in for treatment and to upgrade them to the level that they need to be upgraded to, well, bad example, but you understand. Um, I might start introducing that as people die. As it stands, I have nobody I really care to dismiss. Except maybe Sir Jairus, but he is still, you know, it's... It is what it is. Maybe. But then we... Even if we did, we wouldn't have enough people to send out on a new mission. Another thing I'm also thinking of doing here is to upgrade the stagecoach to get some even more experienced recruits. So that we can at least have Great a level 2... Even here. Uh, party, and uh, level twos and threes, so we can bring someone else in, basically, fill in that gap. Start using that person to set that churn going, uh, and gain some cash. Well, since that means that we can't uh, do the profit mission still, we might as well take a look at what we can do. Now, I actually probably want to put Tim there, or is it Doug? They do look the same. Uh, yeah, it was Tim. I was right. Don't judge me. Probably in for some cloister treatment. Because Tim got very stressed in that last mission, which is fine, because Tim did not die in that last mission. Therefore, I'm happy. Um, but we'll, we'll get rid of all these people and see what else we've got. There is a Swine God mission, which is probably going to be quite difficult, something I'm not really down with doing just yet. Uh, level 5 missions are, of course, that much more difficult. So what we're going to need before we do that is to make sure that everybody who we take is as good as they can be. I.e., I've upgraded them, which has not been the case so far. Uh, the trouble is, what else do we do? I guess the alternative is to just do a normal mission. A champion mission, but a normal one. And I don't know how we unlock the Darkest Dungeon. I guess that is unlocked, and that just means that we haven't leveled it at all. I don't know. Kill one shuffling horror. Now, I believe that's the thing that we saw very early on when we did... A dark mission, which I have still not attempted a second time. <laughs> Funny that. Um, we do have plenty of healers and damage dealers. What's Miri's major malfunction? Less speed is okay, I think. I mean, we could try a darkest dungeon mission. It's very, very intimidating. I don't have any idea what to expect, and we will probably lose some people. <laughs> uh, I mean... The game is the game. We're going to have to do it at some point, right? So we might as well take... I feel like we should take a, a variety. So maybe... Doug. Well, we want to look at the, the actual upgrades, because if we can upgrade them first... 
Maybe we should do that. It is a medium mission, so at least we'll be home before too long. We're thinking of taking Doug, so Doug... That's expensive. Very expensive. I'm thinking that you basically do not go into the darkest dungeon with anything but the highest level characters. It's essentially a suicide mission, much like the first time we tried to do the ruins at the start of the previous episode, we sent in very poorly leveled characters. Um, maybe instead then what we do is we try to upgrade people to do a, just a basic level 5 mission. Uh, not Tim. So that we're, we're not completely leveled up, but we don't have that far to go. So we should upgrade Zeki. I'm more, I'm more concerned in having Vestal's armor than um, weaponry upgraded, for what I hope are obvious reasons. I mean, we could just do a normal mission. Me, Ed, Zeki, and Miri. Seems a fairly sensible set of options. Ed, yeah, here you go. Spending all our money, but there you go. Zeki, Miri, you can live without that. And we could just do like a level 5 mission. So, Ed, me, Zeki, and Miri. Seems pretty good. I would actually like to try and take... um. Who's here? Er, Martinus is at this level. Martinus into a mission where we have a camp would be really nice. It would allow us to get rid of these... Um, ooh, that's bad. Uh, <laughs> maybe we don't... Yes, okay. We will take Martinus because I'd like to get rid of that ASAP. And I'm hoping that the mission that we go on will give us an opportunity to... Get as far as we can before we camp. That's what I'm thinking. Get as far as you can before you camp. So that at least this is not a problem for too long. Yeah? It's currently a big problem. Uh, I mean, sometimes we get a, a layout that's very square. And then you can basically pick how far it is before you camp. And sometimes we get a very linear one with... You can't avoid any of the encounters. And then you find yourself camping very early. I mean, we could do this cove mission. It's a long one. I'm not a fan of the cove. <laughs> for what I hope are obvious reasons. 100% of room battles. Explore. We should explore the Warrens. At a champion level. Champion. Unequip all trinkets. Give Ed. I didn't upgrade their... Um, actual abilities. Don't forget. I'm um, hoping that just the straight up damage and protection you get from these is enough. Basically, we can't afford it, so <laughs> I have to do it uh, one way or the other. It's cr more prop, probably a good idea. More virtue, less stress. Yeah, I think we just take the two. I wish clicking would, you know, just install it. Anyway. I'm not really sure. Where are we going? What did I say? The Warrens. That's beasts, whereas the wield is Eldritch, or is it vice versa? <laughs> Thanks, Brain. You've forgotten. Uh, beasts in the Warren sounds right. And uh, the Weald is like the sewers where it's all eldritch stuff that have come out of the inchoate flesh. So maybe we just try this one. More damage range skills. I mean, often it's just that's good enough, right? Or we just do more damage versus beasts, which is also a pretty decent opportunity. Humans always good. Uh, I don't think that's too useful on this character. I think I'd rather keep that on a, a Martinez there. I think this one, just for the damage. Every basically every other round will be firing. I think. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. It seems like a good idea. Stop talking, Ed. We are choosing you, you crazy character. Right, so quick draw charm, and we have more accuracy range, more dodge, more stress, more speed, more stun. None of those I'm particularly concerned. Oh, I didn't um didn't sort like this. No, it didn't help. Um I'm more concerned with crit chance. And melee damage. I assume that's a melee attack. The lunge. Yes. In fact, you don't really have any 
you have two. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, we use lunge mostly. And then these two sort of sparingly. I mean, we could take it. More accuracy rather than more damage there as well. So I don't use them enough and I don't particularly value accuracy enough to make that worth doing, I think. Uh, more damage in position one, no use. Less stress damage. More heals, maybe. Or just, uh, we'll just take a beast ring. More accuracy in melee skills could actually help us because if we miss on a lunge, that could really set a, f a sight, a fight asunder. Does that even make sense? I went to such great effort to actually say that sentence, and I'm not even entirely sure that it was worth saying. Let's check those skills, actually. Everyone's got the right set of skills. I'm pretty sure that we've just settled on a set of skills for all these people. Open vein is probably quite useful. Yeah, I mean, tracking shot. It's a great buff, but I never use it. Maybe I should? I think it's because I'm always dancing backwards and forwards that I never get the opportunity to actually buff myself. We do have Duelist Advance, uh, which it works from many positions, so we're actually kind of robust against um, being shuffled, being surprised. And you are also robust against being surprised. I quite like having that on. We hardly ever use it. We'd hardly ever use any of the others. Um, but having that for whenever you are surprised and shuffled around is so much more valuable, I think. Man at Arms. Yeah, sure. Let's provision for this. It's a medium mission, so we're going to be taking a certain amount of food, but not... We've got one person who eats, eats more, do we not? Yes. So we actually need to take multiples of five, and I can't add... 12 plus 7 is 19, 20. Yes. Uh, we'll take a couple of these. It's a, don't forget, medium mission. We're going to want it. Um, we'll definitely take some of these. Oh, we should take some torches on account of how we're going into a dungeon. I'm going to play it safe, I think. We'll take these because there's quite a good chance that we will find some extra food in the Warrens. Uh, mostly, I think we're going to want bandages because we don't have anyone who can stop a bleed at the moment. We can only have people who can cure uh, the, the HP. We can only heal the HP that the bleed gives us. It's not a boss run. It's just a normal, very difficult run. And we may run away. We may lose somebody. But, you know, we've got to lose people at some point. And these, these people have been with us for quite a long time. I mean, D, Ed, and I have been in since the first episode. <laughs> so if any of those people die, it's going to be very expensive setback and uh, to prosecute our slightly war against sad. The swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. To prosecute a war. Is that what you do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. No. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. I think that means we can skip two, but I'd rather skip none. So I'm going to go to all of these and then hopefully we end here. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter which ones we skip, unless we get a scout and then we know which ones we want to skip. Um, I've just realised I've hurt my D finger. <laughs> well, I, I realised a long time ago because obviously I was there when I hurt it. Um, Oh, glad we brought some extra shovels. Such blockages are unsurprising. Um, what I've These tunnels predate even mostly realised is that it's the finger I used to press the D key, which even in this game is uh, a key we use a lot. Ah, here's some scouting. So we know about this battle, but the room's empty, so that kind of makes it less worthwhile. But we'll see what the battles are like in this place, because, oh, I'm scared. Uh, are we prepared? We are prepared. Rasmus first. Oh, do you know what I just realised? Oh, no, we're okay. Whew. Lunge. Uh, ooh. That's a good question. Which one do you attack first? This has a debuff on it, but this has a stun and a debuff. we we'll probably try and take this one out since everybody can actually hit it as well. Not a crit, but that's okay. Yep, hit that. No problem with that at all. So what I've realised is that, yeah, this is going to be a situation where Ed is not actually going to be able to do anything. Um... Maybe we open vein here? Yes. Or dodge, dodge is fine too. The reason I did that is that if I'd done what I normally do, which is to advance, Ed would be in a third position and completely unable to do anything. However, if I do what I did, I mean, I was hoping to get a bleed off, obviously, which was not to be. 
Christ, this thing's dodged, though. What is it? It's like 28. That's ridiculous. That's probably going to be the hardest thing about this fight. These things have a huge amount of dodge, and that thing's got huge protection. We don't have a debuff against dodge as well, which is a bit of a problem. We might as well start healing early if we're going to have to... If this fight's going to last as long as it seems like it's going to. Jesus. Is that a percentage? It must be. No. Because it has a percent when it's a percentage, right? And there's our accuracy as well. I guess it's just like a combination of their dodge and our accuracy. Your stun is huge as well, so I don't know why I tried that. So now we can advance, which activates repost. Which is kind of what you want to do in the first place. You really want to start repost. But if we'd moved into that position, we would have had Ed at the back. Where, of course, we would have been relying on the fact that Ed can actually move forward. So it wouldn't be too big a deal. Maybe we'll try that in future. It's not a terrible idea. It might be a terrible idea, but I don't actually know. Uh, I, I want to get that torch back up because we are taking a bit more stress damage right now. Can you just hit it? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. <laughs> For once. Because this is a forward too, that's the issue. I mean, if everyone's just going forwards all the time, I'm happy with that. Ooh, that's also a good idea. And then debuff is, let's bleed resist. So if we can open vein on... <gasps> Please don't miss. What? I should get a face cam so that you can see the reactions I have to this bullshit. <clears throat> can we stun this? Yes. We should at least take one of them out of actions for the next round so they can't do something. And I wanted to get that light above because these both do stress damage. And having the light below 75%, we had plus stress, which means everyone's taking a little bit more stress, hence plus stress. I'm going to keep flashing daggers in. Um, the debuffs are nice. If we can ever hit anything. But also, we're damaging both. And at this stage, having them both come closer to death over time is seems slightly better than... Um, I mean, we could just kill that. Yeah, we can reactivate Repost. Fuck. I mean, we, we get Repost whether we hit or not, but it's a bit of a bugger that it missed. Um, I'm actually feeling okay, and I was about to say, D actually needs some... Uh, sorry, Ziki. We didn't even bring D, so that was my mistake. Um, Ziki has not been with us nearly as long as D, so Ziki can obviously die earlier, but it doesn't seem like it's likely to happen. I was going to say, Ziki needs some healing, but this one can do damage and heal. There's a lot of damage, actually. I guess no protection. And it critted the heal. <laughs> what just happened? That was amazing. I, mean, I want to go back and rewind the video and watch it over and over again. We just did 11 damage to something that needed like 2. And then we got a critical effect from the 3 heal. Heals yourself for 3. That critted for 10. So now we're at full HP again. I couldn't have asked for better, to be honest. Throw this dagger. Yes. Right. It's very encouraging how well these um, high-level missions are actually going. Especially since the amount of money we get back out of them. It's turning out to be really good. And don't forget, we can retreat at any time. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, we have so many level 5 people. I was going to take a drink, but I need to press the buttons that make stuff happen. We have so many high-level people that just leaving them sort of not doing anything for a while seems like a good idea. I'm going to get Ziki to do this, just in case it kills some stress. Yeah. <laughs> That's the opposite of what we wanted. Well, hopefully we can get somewhere before we have to camp, because I'd like Zeke not to go do lally before we um, before we do camp. Scout, scout. Okay, good. No, so no, there is a battle. I want to. I want to cure. I want there to be a potion of stress cure. Right. Can we just take a bottle of rum? Right. Oh, push this. <clears throat> you know, just some Dutch courage. Or well, we could just take Dutch. Ah, yes, this is what we want. A buff. More damage. Probably should have got literally anybody else to do that, but that's fine. Um, Ed is not useless in terms of damage, which is... You know, if Ed heard me say that, I think he'd be happy. You can snuff out the torch, but I'm not sure why you would. I mean, it, would you? Is there a useful reason? Let me know if you think that that is a good idea. This could be difficult. I'm not quite sure which one to go with first. We have seen all these before. Maybe we try to lunge at this and kill it? I mean, a crit would be very helpful. And it's a 25% chance to crit. It has a high dodge. Go for it. 17. We could still kill it on this round. 
with Duelist Advance. Which does activate Repost, so I am going to do this. Even though it puts Ed in the weird position here, I want to see how well this whole concept works. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Yo, though. Fuck. Two fucking. Mate. <laughs> Two combats. Two combats. You crazy bastard. What's your stun like? Really high. I guess we judgment this. Or don't, whatever. So this is going to be one of those ones where we're just trying to fucking do anything. 15 versus unholy. How far forward do we move? One. So that's kind of okay. Not bad, you know, I mean... We resisted the debuff, which is fine. What I want to do there is sort of experiment with... Oh, perfect. Um, what happens when Ed is in the third position? It wasn't ideal. Because we only move forward one. But at the same time... Can we throw a dagger and hit this and kill it? We can kill it. It's not likely. Does it debuff? It buffs us. I think it's worth doing if we can kill that thing before... Everything goes... That was, by the way, with a minus three speed debuff on the second round. Still went first. So I'll just use a normal torch to keep our spirits high. Um, yeah, hit it. Just hit it. You are doing a bit extra damage until camp. Zeke, do that again. Perfect. I mean, we're not going to get Zeke unparanoid, but hopefully we can live through it. And if we can't live through it, we'll live with it, right? Uh, and we'll just retreat. We can always retreat. Perfect. I mean, any time Zeke refuses to take the go, that's going to be a bit of an issue because... Yeah, lunge. Um, if Zeke refuses to take a go... Can you bleed? No. We therefore can't heal. So we have to make sure we're on top of the healing whenever Zeke does have a go. On the off chance. Ow. Fucking ow. On the off chance that Zeke refuses to take a go in the future. Oh, we can't hold the lance the front one. That will be a problem. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. Please crit again. Okie dokie. I mean, you don't have to. Also fine. It's <laughs> not that big a deal. I know I lie when I see one. I missed on purpose. Yes, okay. I understand. Throne Dagger will hit this. That was a maximum damage roll, so I'm actually perfectly happy with that, even though it seems like it was inefficient, especially compared to that, which would have just one-shot it in the first place. Um, we will take all this, and then we will immediately um, just use this. And get some food, because we just got uh, free herbs, which is amazing. So now we've got plenty of food, even though we're eating extra, we might actually find ourselves throwing some away. But I think that was a good start. The fact that Zeke stressed out completely to begin with is a bit of a shame. Um, yeah, Zeke's going to be stressing everybody else out as we go along is the main issue. Just by talking shit, pissing us all off. But that's an affliction, that's how they work. Did we... I can't remember what this curio was. Wow, people are getting really stressed out just by walking back down this corridor. Oh, it was um, it was one of those parchments. Should we get Zeke to look at it? Ooh. Cove Scrounger. What did that replace? Meditator. I don't remember what any of them do. <laughs> you know, you, you it tells you what it replaced, but I'm pretty sure I say this in every single episode. I don't know what that was. Right, we're back at the beginning. So we've done some of our task, and we can now press on with hunger is fine. We do get some health back for doing that hunger as well, and we've got so much food. I mean, who cares? Uh, open this. Treasures. Behold, 50, hold, 50 whole gold. Let's see if we can surprise something. Hello? Nothing here. Scout. No scout. I mean, I'd like to not trigger a trap if we can. That's kind of a trap, but okay. Now, I think what we want to do here is actually beat this shit out of this thing here. 
Because if it's not in the game at all, we're better off. And we can. That's the thing. We can beat it up. We dodged, but we still get riposte. And of course, uh, in this situation, Ed is capable of hitting both of these with the the holy lunge thingy, the holy lance. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Yeah. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Ooh, bad times. Right, so you're going to do that. Again, we have to make sure we're using Zeke as much as possible when we get the opportunity. Um, oh, you can only hit that. But that's perfect. I mean, that's basically what we could have asked for. Uh, we have to make sure we're using Zeke when we can. Because there's always going to be a chance that Zeke just refuses to take their go. So this is some bleed, but not the worst bleed. I will actually try and open Vein on this. It's only got 65% bleed chance. I'm getting some damage over time on it, even though it's like 9 damage altogether. Not the greatest amount. I think we're okay with that. Please heal me. 13? Yeah, that's more than enough. What's this, though? More stress damage for two rounds. Oh. I mean, Zeke is not going to stress out again, but we may have to retreat just to stop Zeke getting a heart attack. Just like we had to... Re we nearly ran away to stop Jekyll from getting a heart attack in the previous round. Five damage is not a lot, but at least that one's out of action, right? So I think we've already done the right thing by having only one thing to deal with. We could stack up the bleed, but I think I'm going to advance here and then try another lunge sort of thing. Um, maybe we should use a torch. I want to try a stunning blow, but at the same time, I don't really care to. Fuck. <laughs> These dodges, man. They ain't no good. Could try and stun it again. We could just top everyone up. I think topping everyone up, again, one purpose in this round. Any extra damage that Zika could do is fine, but as long as we're keeping people alive, that's the real task here. Oh, great. Well done. <laughs> just double it up. Uh, so in this case, I think that's probably a good time to do it. Two damage. No, no stun. I mean, it's very high stun resist. I can't really be too salty about that, but at the same time, I can... Fuck. Stop dodging. So we try the lunge again. We did get a crit, which is why we bring uh, Marty and indeed Erasmus when it is Erasmus. Okay, good. I mean, the damage that we output kind of makes up for a lot of the fact that these things are dodging all the fucking time, but at the same time... We better be in the right order because we could come across anything. It's not a trap. It's a trap. Waiting to be spent. Um, I think they're kind of more important than crests. Because crests are a dime a dozen. Whereas portraits, they kind of gate a lot of things. And they only stack up to three, I think, which is a bit poor. Scouting! Now, we can definitely omit at least one. But we know that there's nothing here, so we should definitely scout this one. That's a good idea. Good thinking. Well done. Thank you. More food. Honestly, we'll come back to that. And the reason is... 95, 95. Why have these gone down so much? Probably because of the um, place we're in. Uh, the reason is we might get a hunger pang between here and there. And it's unlikely, but it could happen. Also, we've used enough torches now to have room for the food. Also, we don't really need the food, so there was an opportunity that maybe we just don't do that. We didn't get the hunger, but we will now take this. I think because Zeke is, you know, a if star only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Okay. Uh, I think because Zeke has plus one food requirement, it's worth making sure we've got plenty of it. And of course, we can get a lot of value out of food when camping. And I think now is coming up to the sort of time where we want to think about doing that. Um, the camping, I mean. I think what's happened here is that 95%. Do you remember in previous episodes when we did a fairly high levelish dungeon? Maybe a level 3 dungeon? I'm not going to open that. Uh, it would say we had like 120, 140% trap disarming. And I'm going, well, what does that mean? Because <laughs> we could have 140% still fail it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, maybe... Now it's adjusted for the level of the dungeon, basically. It's for that trap, rather than in general. So now, 
if you've got a 95% chance of disarming the trap, you've got a 95% chance of disarming the trap. I'm going to fire wood here. Together. <laughs> it includes this. And vulnerable. I understand. Rats in a maze. Right, we're all better off. We've had a bit of stress relief. Now we want to definitely do this on... Probably me. I mean, the plus food is bad, but we've got so much fucking food. You know, it's not affecting us now. So I'm going to use this. It's very quick. It removes my... Uh, it removes Marty's disease as well, but Marty doesn't have a disease, so... More scouting chances, okay. For four combats, maybe not that great. Less stress damage. I mean, we might want to try and de-stress out Zeke. Let's have a look here. What's going on? None of this is actually increasing the amount of stress damage that they're taking. So that's okay, and neither do these. In fact, that's reducing the amount of stress damage, and we're still suffering. Um, but it means that it's just simply Zeke has been had bad luck, I guess. So what can we do here? We don't need to do any wound care. Reduce stress, more prop. Reduce stress, reduce stress, less stress damage. <clears throat> it might be worthwhile. Um, we do have this one, which basically does the same thing but to one person. Now the thing about this one is the two people who are stressed out are Zeke and Ed, but of course if Ed's doing it, Ed's not going to get that buff. We also have Prevent Nighttime Ambush could be very worthwhile, so I'm gonna definitely consider doing that. But we will do that, because having an ambush at this time could it could be horrible in terms of stress. But the pep talk is really quick. This does reduce everybody's stress damage as well. We've got six time we've got six, you know, times left. Six time units. And if religious, less 20% stress damage, which is Ed. So we should definitely do that. Yeah. Oh, one one companion. Oh, we'll just yeah, Ed. Oh, you fucking dick. Tiki. You're fired. Alright. Uh, I guess in that case we at least try to make sure that Well Zeke's already flipped out. So now we try and make sure that Ed doesn't flip out. That seems like the correct thing to do. Agree? Because Zeke could indeed refuse to allow Marty to do that. Which would be bad times indeed. We can't use this last uh, hourglass, so we're just going to click through this and be comfortable that we're not going to be ambushed, which is ideal. And I did that just because there's a combat coming up, which is very helpful to have that scouting opportunity to tell us as such. Not that same, okay good. It's not the same attack again, but this could actually give us more diseases, which is a shame because we just um, got rid of many, but let's start as we mean to go on and try and kill any of these in one shot. Marty, one shot please. Perfect. I just put my hand in the air. This is why I need a face cam, because I'm still doing it so that you can see what I did. I've thrust my finger into the air. <laughs> Again, why? <laughs> Fine. It was a waste of a turn, but at least we didn't pass. Um, it wasn't a waste of a turn, necessarily. I, ha I held my finger high and I went, ha ha! No, no disease. No disease. No disease. We could always send him into the sanitarium if we need to. Debuff is... A bit shit. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Hemophilia. Brilliant. That's uh, bleed. More bleed. 50%? You. Why are you order? Bleed? 55%. Plus 1% quit. Quit when repost. But less damage. Right, so you shouldn't use that twice in a row is basically what it's telling you, so... Don't, I guess. So now we have to make sure Ed doesn't end up in the third position, because we can't hit anything with that thing anymore. That, that, that crit was bad. That was a bad crit. Well, oh, this is turning out to be a very difficult fight. Alright, I think we try and stun the one that is not yet dead, because the one that is not, not yet dead... Because basically this one is... Uh, 
It could be dead. In fact, it's likely to be dead, provided we don't miss. It has a high dodge. We didn't miss. Good job, Ed. And that's why he's done that one. That actually worked out. My strats are actually playing along. So that was an opportunity, by the way, where we could have really, really needed to heal and Zeke was unavailable because Zeke was being a dick. Um, but we're okay. We can't... We can't hit this, except for with this. Which I think is fine. We've got a very high dodge on ourselves. And we've re-stunned it, despite the 40% here. And it had 95%. To be, oh, maybe it's got 95% now. That would make some sense. Uh, we'll advance and miss, but that's fine. It's not fine, but you know, it could be worse, is what I'm saying. Two misses in a row, though. Come on, now. It doesn't get another go. Point blank shot. Boom. Ha! Ah! made it. Do, 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 do. He shoots, he scores. Back of the net. But you got to start doing these sort of generic footy references. You don't like football. People know you don't like football. People know you're just posing. You know, you're not, you're not one of us. I get it. Don't worry. Hopefully we can make it through this without flipping everybody out. We're going to need to at least put Zeke in and probably Marty and Ed anyway. Um, the real question is, if they do flip out, is it going to be such a, a big deal to the party? I mean, especially if we can't even retreat. Like if, if their affliction causes them to refuse to retreat so that we can get home and heal everybody. And it's causing them to refuse to, sort of, you know, attack. We're being going to have a bad time. We didn't get a scout, which is making me sad. So we just have to hope there's no traps or nothing. We do like getting the occasional torch. Seems like we brought the right amount, even though we brought as many as we possibly could. Seven may be overkill for the rest of the mission, but don't forget we have enemies in this place that are, holy shit, um, reducing the torch quite a lot. Right. We basically must kill this thing. This is going to be an impossible. Look at the fucking, the amount of HP and dodge in this place. And protection. I mean, we might have to retreat from this very fight just because of the amount of um, stress damage that's going to happen to us. We didn't even get a riposte for that. We stunned this. No. We, we tried to. I mean, it was worth a try. Just wail away at this. This thing can hurt. But I'm happy with HP damage at this stage. I just want to make sure this thing can't stress everybody out. Yeah, hit the person who has been afflicted. Because if Zeke gets too close to... You know... Oh, bad times. If Zeke gets too close to... Oh, that's bad. Uh, heart attack. Then we just... You know, bail. I guess. That's okay. Resisted everything. Done it? I don't know. Resisting everything? This is impossible. What I didn't realise is on the second round there, we couldn't hit this thing at all with any of our attacks. So we're actually spreading out the damage by accident, mostly as a result of the fact that these things are the way they are. Do you see what I mean? Right, now, when we're in this position, we can, you know, attack this thing as much as we want. But when these people are in these positions, we should use a torch, um, we can't hit that one at all. I wouldn't mind a crit from that, actually, because it is a 25% chance. You should heal yourself up, definitely, because you took a lot of damage from that um, skull toss. And then we can start maybe applying slightly more direct heals. I mean, it's kind of gratifying that Zeke has not refused too many. At the same time, this is getting a little bit absurd. <laughs> you don't mind me saying so. It's dodging everything, it's resisting everything. Come on. 105% bleed resist is kind of... No wonder, right? At least we retaliated to that. Everyone's going to have to go in for stress relief. For sure. Stun 95%. Again, I don't know if that stun resist is based on our attack or just straight up and then we have to figure it out. Yeah, uh, okay, I guess. That 21 is also really helpful, actually. 
Uh, it's not very good. Ooh. You can do that from anywhere. I mean, it's not a lot of damage. In fact, it's basically zero damage, but it's doable. You did dodge that. That's like the first dodge we've seen on our side. Uh-oh. Uh, I think we try to get everybody and hope for some high rolls. We didn't get any high rolls. I'm not sure whether those have can have different rolls, because I know that you can have different amounts. Go dodge. Yes. Monstrous size has no um, intrinsic merit. Like, sometimes one of them can uh, crit. One of them can crit and the other one's don't. Let's... Oh, we've done it. And we haven't flipped out. I'm still very tempted to run away right now. Especially with this amount of money we'd be taking back. But, I guess... Not. Now, what I'm thinking is, what I should actually have is this order. And then, in future... I can't actually take off a trinket, which is annoying, but in future have this trinket on the Highwayman, whoever it is that we bring. So that the Highwayman can do a duelist advance, which is moving forward one. And then after that, the Grave Robber can do the lunge, which moves forward two. Which would make sure that the, um, the Crusader here was actually in the second position, not the third. But then it kind of... Dis oh, I've done it. Um, it kind of depends on whether... The Crusader needs to be able to hit. Could... Uh, the the back or can hit something with the Holy Lance. I'm tempted to just attack one of these because these can hurt like shit. Just, just Shadow Fade this. It does buff us as well, does it not? Yeah. Improves our accuracy. Now we can do a duelist advance on like either of these, I guess. Got high dodge. So we probably get rid of this one. Shit, that was good. Gives ourselves a riposte, which is already on, actually. Which I didn't realise, because of course, at the end of the last thing, <laughs> we got ourselves riposte. So Marty's about to go crazy. Fearful. We may have to run away, simply because we're all about to go fearful. Or, or we're all about to be afflicted. I mean, we're keeping on top of it. Especially with these heals. As long as Zeke allows us to heal. See, that was all sevens. At no time have I ever seen them all be... Not all be the same number. Ow. Sharp and take a breath. 98. Good dodge. <coughs> uh, I guess we smite something. This thing is going to take a lot of hitting. I think they thought, oh, for fuck's sake. It's that sort of thing that makes me think we need to leave because we can't actually consistently hit them. We're not going to be able to get through it before someone has a heart attack. Oh, shit. I'm starting to think maybe we'd go. Ed's been courageous. That's really nice. A moment of valor shines brightest against the background of despair. And then gets completely owned. I'm out. The sin is we did retreat, which is great. Crushed, but if we abandon the quest now, it. everyone is basically so stressed out. It doesn't matter about the stress of defeat. You, you know, Ed, you know. Marty, well, Zeke and Marty were already above 100%. On their way to having a heart attack. Ed, despite having had courage and losing all of the stress here, gain stress from running away from combat. We have Hyromania. Fine. Natural swing, I think, is just accuracy. God-fearing is probably happy to get rid of that, because I think that's one way you can only go into a certain place. Only visit the brothel has replaced Hagiomania, which I forget. I think Hagiomania is one that causes you to interact with stuff. It did bring back a lot of stuff. Rumor of riches. To the enterprising stalker. Quiet and reserved, these men are professionals compelled not by the scent of blood, but rather the gleam of gold. Okay. What? Who are you? I wonder what that means. Do you get a bonus if you take bounty hunters? I see that we have two... 
in the list. Did they look like them? Not that. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Vague and DT there. So maybe we get a bonus if we take these two out now, or one of them at least. Uh, which is a possibility. Let's see if there's a stagecoach with a level 2. There is a level 2. Adventurer, bounty hunter. We've already got a bounty hunter at that level, which is really annoying. Um, I'd be happy to take a level 2 at this stage, but um, a second bounty hunter in the low level roster is not going to be helpful, so we'll hold off on doing that. Let's see how much... We've got 8,000, which is not as much as I would have liked. We did pick up another trinket, which is not something I'm... I have not used to just of it in ages. Maybe we should take a jester. Are you still in the fucking... Is it because if you don't succeed in the mission? No. Homesy for fuck's sake. <laughs> Leave. Get out. So now we can't really afford to put everybody in. I think we put Zeke in. Excuse me. Oh, you gained the brothel thingy, didn't you? Um... 3,000, you can hang on. <laughs> How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? Um, okay, you lot are just going to hang out. <laughs> and in the next episode, we will try and figure out a way of passing the time until Homesy is available, which may involve doing a low-level mission that these people can just, you know, breeze through without having a healer, which is basically the only way we can do it. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.